Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing some more Dream Quest. I've done another run through the four basic classes, and I've already cleared the dungeon with a samurai, spoiler alert. So let's go ahead and try it as the monk, which I actually enjoyed quite a bit last time I played, despite the fact that the monk's not normally my jam. Let's go ahead and grab some health here, meditate away one of these attack cards, and start the party. There's a level one priest. Now, as a monk, you don't really care too much, or at least as much as the other classes do about um, killing monsters in a certain order because you know your things that you get on leveling up are cooldown based so you don't need low level monsters to refresh your cooldowns with um, I might come back for a salve it's a good you know it's a good, decent card for mana and a little bit of sustainability love the shape of this heart though <laughs> that's so good uh but at the moment i'm concerned more with damage and unfortunately none of this stuff really works to give me that much damage so that's a bit of a disappointing shop i'll just fight this priest i don't really care that much about the order and uh see if we can kill him off here yep taking no damage good as long as you take no damage doesn't make any difference where or when you fought the enemy ah, this is annoying so we can get a kick which is sort of not that good yeah, this might be a tough run. Um, well, we'll see what happens. So the skeletons do have some defensive stuff, which actually means I really should have waited till I got to level 3 to fight this guy. That would have been way more convenient, because once you hit level 3, all your damage becomes piercing, and when all your damage is piercing, you bypass his shields. So that would have been just a bit more convenient. Not that it matters that much, but you know. Okay, so uh, level up. Easy choice here. We'll cleanse another card. So I do need to die. I need to find some damage soon or else that's gonna become a problem. Can I have a shot, please? Mmm, there's a shot. Oh, for frigs butts. Um, well, it's a tough one here. I mean, I want the extra action, assuming I can actually get some good action cards, which I'm not. Uh, the Prayer of Violence is a way to add some damage to my deck, but the thing is, the monk doesn't really want to um, do a lot of damage in a delayed fashion. As the monk, I think... I mean, there may be other ways to play it, granted, but my favorite way to do the monk, I've been playing a little bit off camera as well, is just to kind of play it like a thief, basically. Uh, and that can work really well, but uh, this doesn't really fit in with that because you want to do a lot of damage very quickly and you don't really want to stick around for very long. Still, I'm getting to be desperate for damage, so I'm actually just going to get that Prayer of Violence. All right, let's kill this Vampire Bat and level up. Always drawing heal in my opening hand, of course, like a champ. The Vampire Bat does have healing... Vampire Bat heals it for two, so if you don't have enough damage in your, in your deck, you can end up in trouble. However, I've got this Prayer of Violence. I'm going to set it for two turns, deal six damage, and then even if the bat heals, I should be able to kill it. In fact, it is now dead. Boop. Didn't get to cast my heal. That's fine, though, because we're leveled up. All right, easy call here with the action. I mean, health is good, but getting an additional action is a level two talent, and getting five health is a level one talent. So talent-wise, the action one is, is better. I also think that, you know, it's more valuable there, because I could actually potentially buy one of those slices. All right, we get a chance to delete another card. I could get rid of my mana and my heal, but since I have the Prayer of Violence, I mean, I could try to do this another route. I could try to go for a, like, to play it like a priest with the heal and some prayers and go the long road. Then I'd need to pick up some wards and things. Uh, I'm going to fight this Ooze. The Ooze does heal for one every round, which with the Monk's lack of damage can normally be a problem. Uh, however, I've got that Prayer. As long as he doesn't digest my Prayer, which actually, if he had, I would have been completely screwed, um, I, I win. Because now I just set that for four, so it deals 12 damage when it drops, and uh, then I kill him. Now, I actually might have lost this fight if he had digested away my Prayer of Violence. I was not thinking about that when I went in. I forgot about the Digest card. It's a very strong card. Exiles a random card from your hand. Exile meaning it's gone for the rest of the fight. So that would have been really bad if he had gotten the prayer because I went into this fight and that was the reason I actually went into this fight is because I had that prayer and I could take on the ooze. Okay, another shop. All right, this finally has something I'm feeling pretty happy about the execute. It's not a great long game card, but early on this just absolutely helps you. Absolutely helps you. It helps you a great deal against fights that would otherwise get ground out. Dodge is also not bad for the long game. Well, anyway, I have no gold at the moment, so let's fight this level 3 mage. Hopefully I don't die. Actually, it's good that I drew heal in my opening hand that time, because I friggin' needed it. Okay, I'm chilled, so that slice did no damage, and this attack only deals 1. I'm going to play the prayer of violence for just 1. I think I should kill him. 
yeah, prior violence just deals three damage and he dies. Not leveled up yet. I'm gonna have to fight that spider down there. Looks like, or waste a health, well not waste a health back, I actually do use the health back, but I think I can, oh I had to, can I meditate? God, how long have I been forgetting to meditate? Oh God, oh Jesus, crap. I think I, did, did I mean, did I need to make a decision and then I put it off and then I forgot to do it? Well, I might be, I might have wasted a meditation, unfortunately. Okay, should be dead, that's three damage and then the slice finishes it off and then we level up. All right, uh, another action or health, same choice. I'll take another action. Maybe I should have thought about that a bit more because now if I'm gonna go for this like spellcaster route, I don't necessarily need all these actions. But what I'm gonna do since I have all the actions is I'm gonna buy the um, kick, discarding a card rather than, uh, from my opponent's hand as opposed to drawing a card with slice. And I am actually gonna just get a slice as well since I have the actions to, to play all those cards. There's the boss, it's a vampire, bit of a tough one. He's immune to earth, I remember now. And this is awkward, that's all it, that's all it is. I can't explore anything else. Okay, um, crap, I can't do nothing. Let's fight the vampire. Okay, so we're gonna set this prayer to maximum for 15 damage. I managed to get rid of an attack too, so it was kind of like a preemptive heal too there, which is fine. He enthralled my card. Goes to the uh, yeah, so he managed to get he managed to get some mana, which is fine. I actually wanted the damage. I didn't want the mana. I still only have the heal that uses mana, and that's it. All right, I think I'll just do these one at a time, just in case something wacky happens. But okay, pretty good. This actually ends up being a pretty easy fight, I think. Uh, if I can speak too soon, I actually got rid of an enthrall, so he's not going to be stealing a card from my hand, which is good. Um, Vampire bite's annoying because he keeps healing with it. Which means that when this prayer goes off, he's not quite going to be dead. He's going to be at five. All right, almost got him. Can I get him next turn, maybe, if he doesn't do the vampire bite? Okay, he did the vampire bite, but I think he's still dead. Yep, yep, and we're going to kick him to death. Boom. Okay, that was pretty good, all things considered. Uh, I'm going to actually cleanse rather than getting another action. I've got three actions. I think that's actually enough. I don't even have that many actions. Let's get rid of this attack. So we're just kicking, slicing, and praying at the moment. I do get to explore a bit more, and there's nothing. Okay, um, well, let's check all the shops just to make sure I didn't miss nothing. Slice I could potentially consider. Salve I could consider, though I don't have any spells. Execute is a card I wanted. Although Execute, I don't know how well that really works with like a small deck like this. I might actually prefer to have the dodge from here. Yeah, let's get the dodge for some survivability. I hope there's nothing really good in this shop. Oh, well, and then action might have been maybe a good thing to get, but I already have three of them. Okay, yeah, we'll go here. I'll spend my last 10 gold at the monastery. Let's um, dump one of these attack twos. Okay, let me think about my next talent. Do I want to copy anything? I could copy the Prayer of Violence. That's pretty weak, though. No, what I think I'm going to do is make a speculative move this time. We're going to take for the talent the equipment slot. I'm hoping to find a good piece of equipment. And then let's just be able to start with it equipped. All right, darting daggers. Deal one equal to twice the number of actions you have left. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go for that. This is four actions for 15 damage. Didn't quite get that many actions. And then this is shuffle two curse cards which do nothing and draw a card. So you don't get your card back, not your time, and you slow down the opponent a bit. That could be really good because this deck is very small already thanks to the monastery and my meditations. So that might actually be a good way to go. I haven't tried that kind of a curse strategy before, but. Maybe that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Well, we gotta get some gold first, so I'm, maybe I should have taken the 30 gold talent instead of taking the equipment slot. I could live to regret that, potentially. Okay, um, for this prayer, what do I need? I think I just need six. I think six should be enough, even though these bats do, do have some healing. Okay. Uh, I might have been wrong. Yeah, unless I kill him this turn, I was wrong. Yep, I was wrong. I needed to set it for nine instead of six. As it is, though, it's okay, because I just barely managed to kill it. Okay. Cool. We have another... God, this is... Is this almost too many monasteries? I'm already getting rid of my last attack, too. What I guess I should start doing now is, like, getting rid of the mana and getting better mana. But there's no mana here. Ah, I wish I'd bought that salve. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to... Me I, my meditate comes back up. Mana? Ooh, there's mana here. Clarity's not the greatest. Inspiration also isn't. But, um, man, these are so expensive. I wish I hadn't gotten that equipment slot. If I lose, it's because I took that equipment slot. If I had 42 gold right now, I'd be one step closer to buying one of these cards. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to go for this rogue, even though this rogue is more dangerous. Because even though I don't level up after the fight, um, I want to be able to explore this way and hopefully find, like, a mana card. And then I can destroy my crappy mana card. Because I'm actually running out of things to get rid of. Let's do it for nine. Kind of an uneventful turn there. Didn't really actually achieve much except for putting on a dodge show. Kick is good. Ooh, that's actually nice. Getting rid of the repost. Okay, slice. Slice again. I'm actually out of actions, which is fine. I need three more damage. Now I need two more damage. I've got it. Okay. Kick. Slice. All right, we got through. It's actually pretty solid. And there's the meditate. Oh, boy. Great Bow's a nice pickup. Oh, that's good. Oh, I got lucky. So it's equipped because I took the equipment slot, and now each of these does an extra one damage when I play them. And uh, that's piercing damage because all my damage is piercing because I'm a monk, so that goes through physical resistances and immunity and stuff. So that's all very good. Okay, what's in this chest? Dancing Scimitar. I'm going to have to do this. I think, even though I don't like this very much, um, I just am kind of low on damage at the moment. So let's just... Put it on. I'm not going to have it be equipped. We'll have the Great Bow equipped, and then the Dancing Scimitar can come in later. Okay, let's look at this shop. Dodge. And I want this Corrosive Slash just to have damage in my deck. Okay. Well, I'm going to fight this guy. He's level 4. Shouldn't be too hard. And um, after this, we'll be able to explore more. I'm going to set this for... Let's see. I'm going to do 3. I think that should do it because I've got that dancing scimitar doing three damage a turn and then the great bow doing an extra damage every time I play a green card so I think nine should be enough okay nine might have even been too much yeah actually no if, if, he, if it had gone off now for six I still wouldn't have killed him so it worked out fine I'm actually really happy with this I ended up with almost full health so it's just, and again, with the monk, because the monk has no active abilities, as long as you end up with full health, you're fine. Okay, uh, I can meditate. Um, if I get rid of this mana, I can only cast heal two times before it becomes a dead card. I obviously don't want to get rid of anything else. Crap. I don't have enough gold to buy one of those things. Uh, additional card, but add curses. <laughs> Dad, uh, yeah, adding curses to this deck is definitely not good. Okay, um... I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of this mana, and I'm hoping that I just get 50 gold and I can buy one of those mana cards before uh, time's up. Um, there's no point in getting these health packs because I'm leveling up. I want to fight the hardest thing here. I'm, I'm really concerned about this priest, so I'm going to fight the priest. One nice thing about the priest is that the priests um, do put up walls, barriers, which I pierce through. So some of what the priest does is actually not effective against me, and I'm optimistic that uh, the priest can't do enough damage to me before I kill him. Like, that ward does nothing. Now, this is going to be 15 damage coming at me eventually. But I'm, again, hoping I can I, that I just don't die. Um, what I'm going to do is put this on for 3. So it's going to go off the turn after his Prayer of Wrath goes off. And so if that Prayer of Wrath does not kill me, then I should be in good shape. Okay, now I can actually use this heal. The reason, by the way, I didn't cast this heal the first time I got it at the beginning of this fight is that um, I can only cast heal twice this fight total because I actually got rid of my mana card. So I need to make sure that I got full value out of it both times. Okay. All right. So I see I can't cast the heal anymore. All right, can I finish this guy off? Oh, I need to... Yep, I did it! Okay, well, I'm glad I did that, because I, I took out a level 7 priest. And now, much as I hate to do this, I have to put on this Prayer of Wrath. I need some damage. I need some more damage in my deck. 7 health would be amazing, but got to get the damage. And I still don't have anywhere close to 50 gold, so let's just fight these random-ass monsters. I'm going to try to go for the easiest ones to the hardest ones. Are they all level 6? Is that what's happening? Level 4, okay. Let's do you first. And um, I'll hang on to that heal. So this is... I'm going to do five damage, just a single turn's worth of damage. So I'm hoping I can finish this fight with full health. That's, that's kind of the plan. All right. 
unfortunately, I think I misjudged a bit. Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can kill it next turn. Because it, it did that vampire bat thing and it healed. Uh, I do heal for two every turn myself. Which didn't happen that time, or it did, and I was more damaged. So I never got to cast the heal, unfortunately. But, okay, it's fine. Chest, give me something good. Force of will. One piercing damage for each card in your deck. That's definitely not actually ever a good thing for me. Um, okay. Still trying to get to 50 gold. Yeah. All right, let's go fight this harpy, I guess. Harpies aren't too bad. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hang on to the heal. I know I'm gonna draw it again relatively quickly, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to set these each for, how about, three turns. Well, let's actually do some math. What is this, 15 plus 3, 9 would be 22. That's way too much. Let's do these each for two turns. See if that works. That sucks. So he just, it disoriented my slice, which means that um, it was as if he used it against me instead of me using it against him, which sucks a lot. Oh, my God, Screech, what the fuck? Oh, God, that's terrible. So I lost my heal, but I still lost the mana for it. All right, I got another chance to heal. Oh, no, it's dead to all my stuff, my swords and my wrath and my whatever. Okay, so the blacksmith, I can, do I even have anything? I don't have anything to upgrade with the blacksmith. All right, we're almost up to have to have 50 gold, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy that mana card. I am gonna get this Crows to Flash because I just need that damage. I need the damage in my deck. And I'm going to use some health packs here to just be a little bit safe. Okay, let's go there. Now this is acid damage, but it's still going to deal full damage to this guy, even though it's resistant to elemental damage because um, all my damage is piercing. And then this. Let's put it on for 10 damage in two turns. I think that should be enough. Okay, got my Dancing Scimitar going. Got my dodge up, so I'm dodging some attacks. Yeah, look at those dodges. Boom. I put on that prayer clearly way too soon. I should have had it stay on longer. That was a bit of a misplay. I suppose I was wildly optimistic there. Okay, well, let's put it back on. Now I think it only needs one turn, really. Yes, it only needs one. And I ended up pretty... Pretty good, pretty good on the health front. Yep, that 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 ability I have now as a monk, healing two every turn is definitely handy. There's the meditate. I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to use it though. Piety. All right, that's fine. It's some mana lets me use gets a, let me get a spell and uh, let me get more value out of my prayer cards. Do I want to get rid of anything from here? I mean, I can get rid of heal, I guess, but I think the heal is actually fine. Um, yeah, this is there's nothing to get rid of. It's trim as a deck can get. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explore, even though it means wasting health packs, because there seem to be quite a few health packs, and I want to see if I can find like a really tough enemy to level up against. Well, that didn't pay off. All right, I guess we're fighting the Fairy Rogue. Piety up front. Um, I'm going to just throw it away. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this on for th four turns, and then I'm hoping that I can get Piety. And then make it essentially be like three, like it was three turns. And then we'll put that on for three, so those goes off, go off on the same turn. Repost blocked my big attack, which is very annoying. Um, let's put on the dodge, or try to. The priest has a lot of, you know, counter effects. God darn your stupid ass repost crap. Okay. Is it gonna die? Did I put enough on my prayers and my dancing scimitars? Yep, it's dead. Okay, well, it's good, because I leveled up and took a bunch of damage in that fight. Um, strike three, I, I literally can't play this. Although, maybe, oh God, maybe I should have just been taking all the actions, and then I could actually play these 15 damage strikes. Who knows? Well, I guess we'll take an extra action per round. There's the boss, Chromatic Demon. I still can't delete anything. My Meditate's not really doing much for me at this point. Um, I guess I might as well... Just waste these health packs and see what there is. Level 7 troll. And nothing. Okay, so let's take a let's go shopping. So the Curse of Weakness, I was thinking of maybe doing that. And that's 50 gold. Can't do it yet. And then here, there's a Curse of Weakness. Okay. 
And then over here, another dodge. Do I want another dodge card so I can do more dodging? I'd like to save up and get more, like both Curse of Weaknesses, but there's no way I'm going to get that much money, is there? Okay. I think what I'm going to do is fight the boss. I don't see any point in fighting these guys because I'm not going to get enough money to get up to 50 anyways. So I might as well just um, fight the boss and see if I can do this. I don't know if I can, honestly, but we'll find out. So let's kick a card out of its hand. What do we get rid of? Flame Charge. Eh, not the greatest, but not the worst either. Corrosive Slash. And I guess I'll just play it. Why, did I ever discard Piety? Oh god, I'm sorry. If I discarded it, I'm an idiot. Obviously, if, if it's in your opening hand and you don't need it yet, you should just play it for the mana. No point in discarding it. That's just stupid. I'm gonna put both these prayers on full tilt, and then I'm gonna get Piety, you know, soon enough. I am gonna discard the heal because I'm at full health at the moment. Okay, so he's Storm Shapen. It reduces mana before health, but he's only got one mana, so it's not a problem. I'm gonna cast Heal. There's the piety to knock a counter off my prayers. The deck is so small, I might even be able to piety twice. Oh god, I, I just got meteored for 20 damage. Alright, well luckily heals back. Alright, there's piety. See, so yeah, these prayers are going to come off next turn for full value. Alright, can I survive? If he, Hopefully no more meteors are incoming. Alright, I'm alive. Is he dead? He's dead! Oh my god, we cleared the second floor. Holy god gramophones well that's good so i'm gonna level up after the next fight the question is you know how much can i get away with um i think it's time to get i could actually buy the experience at the shop but let's go ahead and get this curse of weakness let's try for this strategy we'll see if it works it's it's ambitious i don't know if this really works but it does replace itself card wise and i've got plenty of time let's actually look how much time does my deck use one two ah three four so i do have four cards that use time so i won't be able to play them all if i have this curse of weakness hmm yeah that's interesting okay do i think i can kill a level six harpy with 19 health all right let's not go crazy let's just heal for six and then fight this thing i think that i, I can handle okay so we'll see Okay, let's put a Prayer of Violence on for three, so it goes off at the same time as my Prayer of Wrath. You know, I've been actually pretty happy with Kick, just that, that, little, that little bit of healing it does, knocking attack cards out of their hand, you know, it's been kind of nice. Disoriented, so now it's dodging, which is fine, because dodge only works on attack cards, which I have none of, so it's, I'm sad I didn't get the dodge, but, you know. At least it didn't hurt me, and as long as it doesn't kill me, which I don't think it will, the prayers go off and it's dead. Okay, we got some pretty big spells to choose from here. Two at random, so three cards, ten piercing damage, fifteen health to prevent the... Okay, so the last two are good, because they heal me. The first two I'm not 100% sure about, because I might just like literally run out of cards completely, and the ten piercing damage is whatever. Draw three cards. Well, I don't really want to draw three cards, so we're going to go for the Muhammad. Now, let's take a look. I have three mana generation and nine mana cost, so it would be nice to be able to buy a mana card. Can I meditate away anything from here? Mm, I don't think I want to. Well, I could actually get rid of this heal since I'm using the Muhammad. Then the problem is I have to play this piety card twice before I can even cast the Muhammad the first time, so I definitely need another mana card in here. Okay. Well, I think I am going to fight this troll, because it's gold and experience, and I think I want that. And I'm optimistic that I am not going to need um, too much health to kill this troll. Because I do gain two every turn. I do have the heal. I might be able to pull off a Muhammad. In fact, I'm not even going to... Oh, hmm. Let's see. If I play another Piety, I go up to eight, and then I can play the Muhammad. But the Muhammad only heals me half the time. So yeah, we're just not going to worry about the Muhammad. Let's just play the heal to get the guaranteed five and call it a day. All right. Dodge just worked beautifully there. Dodged all four attack cards. There's the curse of weakness, the kick, and the slice. Okay. Still can't cast Muhammad, unfortunately. 
but the prayers are all going off like crazy, and I ended up in pretty good shape health-wise. That's good. So let's get this last health pack. I'm not going quite at full health to the next floor, but don't I heal for two at the beginning of a round, so when the fight starts, shouldn't I actually heal? I mean, I, I would think that's how it works. I guess we'll see. But anyway, let's take a quick look back at the shops just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I could buy some experience, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Um, I could... I don't think I'm going to do these because I, I, my, my deck goes through pretty quickly and I use up a bunch of my actions. I definitely can't afford the strike action-wise. And I wouldn't mind getting inspiration. But I can't. I'm four gold shy. So I can get clarity... Which would make my hate my health my heal card free, and it would make the Muhammad card cost five. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's not gamble on finding a shop on the next floor. Let's just you know, good option now is better than the best option later. We'll learn our lessons from Hearthstone, kind of thing. So, yep, this is all fine. I, I don't think I can get rid of any of these cards. I like the corrosive slash for the damage. I could get rid of it, but I can get rid of it any time. Meditates up. I don't think I'm gonna get another card I want to get rid of. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh, my God. I'm oh, my God. I'm terrible at this game. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so bad. I should have popped this altar the moment that I found it, and I should have been meditating away the curses. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to do this um, because I can meditate away one of the curses. Now, I forgot you could delete curses from your deck. Uh, how am I stupid? Um, and then I'm going to just pay the monastery to delete another one. Yeah, God, I'm an idiot. I should have done that sooner. I probably could have gotten rid of another curse. Well, all right. Let's go down. Um, and then we get a talent, so I can do purity to get rid of... Oh, I'm stupid. I shouldn't have paid the 25 gold at the monastery. I could have done this talent and gotten rid of the two curses that way. You know, without thinking about it too much, I'm just going to do this anyways. And unfortunately, I just wasted 25 gold. So yeah, meh, misplays were made. Misplays were made. Do I keep this heal? Is this worth it as a one mana heal five? No, I don't think it is. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to rely on the Muhammad for all my healing needs. Now, let's fight the Siren and see if I heal to full at the beginning of the fight. I do. I do. Okay, so it does work that way. So now, uh, because of that altar, I just uh, draw an extra card every turn. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put on the piety. I'm looking for my other prayer here. That was That is what would be the nicest thing. Unfortunately, I didn't find it. And I can't quite cast Muhammad, but I'm going to hang on to it in my open in my hand here. Hopefully she doesn't beckon it away. Okay, she didn't beckon it away, but she beckoned everything else away. That's just freaking lovely. Okay, she's out of beckonings. Now we can do this. Um, I'm going to draw my cards first. Okay, I'm actually completely out of cards. And then Muhammad. Okay, I uh, wish it was better to... Wish, yeah, I wish I could see better what it did. I think it did the draw three... And the piercing damage, so neither of the healing things happened, unfortunately. Okay. Is she dead? She's not dead. Okay. So I'm going to draw some cards. All right, I'm out of cards. In fact, um, yeah, she's just dead. So another mana card wouldn't be the worst thing. Oh, man, I'm, I'm kicking myself, though. I'm kicking myself for not realizing that I could get rid of the curses with my meditation ability. Level up your cards. I have nothing to level up, so that's definitely not worth doing. Oh, the ambush! D boy! Okay, so Prayer of Violence for the maximum. And then Clarity actually will allow me to cast Muhammad. I drew cards and got a barrier, which is fine. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see if we can find my other Prayer card. I'm out of draw. Okay, so... No is the answer. Crows of Slash does damage even though he's immune to Earth because piercing damage is awesome and the monk always has it. All right. Doing pretty good health-wise here. Pretty dang good. Let's put this on for the... Actually, hold on. Do I want the maximum? I don't think I need it. I think I'm just going to set it to be at the same time as my other prayer. And I'm going to... Th I think... I'm not going to assume. I believe in my heart and my heart will go on, folks. That, uh, that is going to kill him when those prayers land. So let's see. I got 8 barrier, dodging 50% of attack cards. Dippity boop. Okay. And now we can actually cast... Um, let me see. How... What's... I'm going to draw my card first. And then... Because once I, once I cast this piety, these prayers are going off. Then I'm going to do Muhammad to see if I can get a heal. Oh, I got the heal and the barrier. Nice. And then the piety, does it kill him? 
It kills him. Okay, you know what? This might be like a really weird deck, but it's a good deck. Maybe. Maybe it's a good deck. We'll see. All right, I got nothing to upgrade. I got to waste a health pack. Um, I guess I'm going to waste this one, even though there's only one thing above it, because it's kind of centralized. There's a hag. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I don't want to fight the hags, because the hags turn your cards into curses, and I don't have a whole lot of cards here. I mean, maybe you can get these prayers off, but I would just hate to lose the game because I fought a hag and died. Uh, okay, I'm going to try it. This levels me up, and it'd be nice to get the 8 experience off of this hag. So, okay, pretty decent hand here, because I get this Dancing Scimitar on. I get this Prayer of Violence going. Maybe I can kick away one of her curse cards? Oh, right, her deck and hand are immune to manipulation. Crap. Okay, moment of truth. Please don't do it. She fucking did it. Okay, so what she did was she got rid of my Muhammad and some other stuff. I got to keep the Curse of Weakness, which does nothing because her deck is immune to manipulation and her hand is immune to manipulation. And we're going to discard these curses. Not that that really helps. Okay, please don't do it again. She did it again. Okay, well, she got again, my Curse of Weakness got kept, which sucks because that's the one that does nothing <laughs> except draw me a card. She did it again. Oh, my God. You know what? I shouldn't, have done, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done it. I don't know how I can win anymore because I'm pretty much out of cards. <sighs> I lost all my good cards. I managed to keep my Curse of Weakness, which does literally nothing. Um, maybe if I get my Prayer back and it doesn't get turned into a curse. But it doesn't matter because I'm dead next time. I can set that for five turns, but I'm at seven health. She's clearly effectively doing damage to me, and I'm dead. So, yep, that was a bit sad. Shouldn't have fought the hag. I knew I didn't want to fight the hag, but I thought, hey, maybe I can do a hag. And nope. She cursed away all my good cards, left me with my worst card, and then I died. So that's sad. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Here's the after party. We now have an additional treasure chest on each floor for killing five dragons. It's actually really good. That's an extra chance to find a really good card, and sometimes you get, like, extra actions, equipment slots, just an extra chance of that, even if the treasure chest is worthless. Over time, that pays off pretty well. Elemental Fortitude. Don't know what that is. Ah, oh, man, I really want to play the Monk again. That was such a good run uh, with, you know, the dodge and the kick and the uh, prayers actually working out pretty well and some healing stuff. I just shouldn't have fought that hag. I really think I might have been able to kill the final boss, depending on what it was, of course. Well, guys, thanks again. I'll see you again soon. Take care.